People who beat the system. I don't even know what to expect, first of all. Okay, number 10. Man edits a Wikipedia page to get backstage for a show. Yo, I've heard of this story. This is actually unbelievable. Okay, sorry, I'm so excited here. <laughs> Uh, last night, someone edited our Wikipedia page to say he was our family. Showed security at our show, got into the green room, and had a beer with the boys. Spargo, Spargo, you legend. This dude then says, thanks for the evening, lads. Dude, that is so genius. Like, you don't even understand. This dude literally was like, okay, how can I get backstage? Say I'm a family member. This, I just, I have no words. What? Spargo, you are a genius. Like, it's just incredible. I don't think it would work if it was like Ariana Grande. Like, who are you gonna say? Like, yeah, I'm her cousin. And then you just, you literally Google it and you're not there. But for like low key bands, this would work. And I might actually use this for legal reasons. I won't. <laughs> don't do this guys, don't do this. Seriously, that's actually incredible. So it's a, a yearbook quote. Amber Rain said, The Office, season seven, episode 19, minute 1445. <laughs> and it says, should have burned this place down when I had the chance. Oh my freaking, I love Michael Scott. Yeah, okay, dancing. I love freaking Steve Carell. He's incredible. So the fact that she did this in the yearbook and got away with it, I applaud you, Amber. This one's for you. I applaud you. If I had something, I'd give it to you. But right now, it's just a virtual, virtual hug. Sure, we'll go with that. That's that's really funny. Uh, fun fact: I was too nervous about a yearbook quote, so I didn't have one because I was like, I don't want it to be lame, and people are like, okay, let's see what Lindsay had to say, and I said something stupid, or you know what I'm saying. So I just there there was none, which is probably worse because now people are like, oh yeah, I went to school with Lindsay. I went to school with this peach girl and they go back and it's just my awful, first of all, awful yearbook photo and nothing says a lot about me. I had a lot of anxiety back then, so it explains a lot. Hey everyone, what's up? And welcome back to the peachiest channel on the internet. I'm your host, Peach, and today we are looking at some people who beat the system. Like life hacks? in real life, cheat codes in real life, okay? They cause a glitch in the matrix for this. With that being said, why don't you smash that like button and subscribe to Peach Be A Peach. Now, let's get on with this video. A little reverse psychology, not sure that it will work every time, but you gotta take a risk sometime. So this person emailed their professor and said, is it possible for you to drop my grade down a couple percent? 89 is too close to an A for me. I don't want to show this to my parents knowing that I was pretty close. It was like at an 85, they'd understand that my grade couldn't move up a letter. So instead, this professor bumped him up to a 90. That's incredible. So I feel like if this guy asked, hey prof, can you just bump me up 1%? He would have been like, screw you. But this whole reverse psychology thing, that's smart. I mean, he could have he could have seriously dropped down to 85 and lost those percentages. He took the risk, little gambler here, and he made it out all right. That's actually really smart. And I'm glad that I'm done with school. That's all I gotta say. That was all too stressful for me. Wanna see a magic trick? Comment below a number either eight, nine, or 10. So everyone was commenting numbers. And then, oh my God. He changed the freaking caption later on and says, rate me on how sexy I am out of 10. And so now all these people are like, 10, nine, eight. Really smart, that's actually really smart. That's all I have to say. Like, again, this guy gets a round of applause. That's incredible. It's a little cheeky, but it's incredible. A class of students were required to pick a Marvel character to embody within a resume and cover, oh. <laughs> I already see this. This is what one student handed in. <laughs> so they chose Groot as the character. And all it says is, I am Groot, I am Groot, I am Groot. The easiest freaking paper of their life. Easiest paper of their life. That is what I call being super smart. Like, there's no way that the professor can fail you because you literally did your job. That's all the character does. Also, I read somewhere, first of all, I didn't even know Vin Diesel does the voice. Vin Diesel, like, 
Fast and Furious Vin Diesel where he's like, family. I got family. You know, that's sorry, that was a really bad impression of him. But he's really low and, and raspy. And Groot is, I am Groot. That's, again, that was really awful impression. But you guys know what I'm saying. Like how, how did they, who thought this little tiny tree thing is gonna be played by Vin Diesel, this big buff bald guy? Like who cast that? But anyway, I'm rambling. He got paid a shit ton just to say, I am Groot over and over again. So I applaud him. He beat the system for that. Uh, I'm just waiting for my role of a lifetime like that. Like I can I can say I am Peach over and over again if somebody wants to employ me. Anyway, uh, totally got distracted there. This person is the smartest person in the world. That's all I gotta say. Today I got a one year ban from the stadium so decided to rent a crane to watch the game. I feel like that's just really extreme and really expensive, but it's the dedication. It's the dedication that I appreciate. Like renting a full ass crane, a full crane. Those aren't cheap. How much is it? I'm gonna Google it right now. How much to rent a crane? Let's see. Oh, never mind. $80 an hour. Oh, what the frick? Why is that like cheaper than I thought it would be? Does that mean like anyone can just go out and rent a crane and like drive a crane around? I feel like that has to be more expensive, like $800. I don't know, we're moving on. My friend goes to a school that doesn't allow the opposite sex in their respective dorms, so this is movie night. That is so freaking cute. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. They brought the whole couch outside. That is so, <laughs> That's just so cute, like, who's gonna do this for me? I mean, I, I mean, I'm not in a door, but like, you know what I'm saying? Wow, marry this man. This girl better marry this man. If not, I will. <laughs> Dogs are not allowed on the New York City subway unless they're in a carrier, so this happened. Dude, how is that husky fitting in that bag? That's like a Mary Poppins bag. Like, huskies are bigger than that bag for sure. Like, look at his face. It just doesn't add up. Like, where's his body going? It's Mary Poppins' bag or Hermione Granger's bag from Harry Potter. You guys know what I'm saying, talking about, hopefully. Very smart. And a cute little doggy. I just love the little doggies. I have a husky that lives on this floor. He's a service dog. Uh, women are not allowed to attend soccer matches in Iran. Five girls sneak into the stadium in disguise to celebrate the championships. Wow, they make good men. Like they look, con like that's convincing. Wow, again, dedication to go and watch the game. I love soccer. And women's soccer in Canada won gold in the Olympics. Just saying, just saying. And in our number one spot today, let's see what we got. Boys wear skirts on a hot day to school and protest at being told they weren't allowed to wear shorts. I mean, they, wow. First of all, can we talk about the, why aren't they allowed to wear shorts? What's wrong with shorts? Seriously? What private school is this where they're like, um, sorry, long pants always. You're gonna be burning hot in the heat, but it's fine. Uh, sorry for the accent, I just, feel like it was a British boarding school. Anyway, good for them. Honestly, good for them. That's how it's that's how it's done. That's how you that's how you make change. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and you make the change. Anyway, wow, they de they definitely beat the system and it's cool and breezy up in there, so nice. <laughs> All right guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which one of these people you thought was the smartest. I'm with that I am group person. That paper Genius. With that being said, why don't you smash that like button? Obviously, subscribe to Peach via Peach. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, aka Peach. Stick around for some bloopers, and I'll see you when I see you. Stay peachy. Really? <laughs> I hope you guys heard that. Somebody was just like drilling, like zzz. I think it was coming from up above. Say I'm a family. Uh, say I'm a family. Say I'm a family. Hey everyone, what's up? And welcome back to the Peachiest channel on the Okay. Uh, take two. Alright guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below.